Detectives all over the country are now involved in this missing persons case as the search continues for Gabby Petito, a case that began in New York State as the 22-year-old and her fiancé set out on a road trip, one where she never returned, but her fiancé did. It is a mystery in the truest sense because you have no idea. Like, if you, you can't go into a situation like this assuming that you know how it's going to play out because really you don't. Private investigator John Allman knows a lot about cases like this, working with law firms and law enforcement for more than a decade. He says right now, one of the biggest questions that needs answering, what was the mindset of Gabby Petito when she was last seen? By trying to understand the mindset of an individual at the point that they were last seen by people is critical because it can tell you if they may have been looking to escape, to go somewhere by themselves. The former investigative reporter also knows that in asking the question, where's Gabby, there are many possible answers. The goal is always to just locate the person that's gone missing. You hope that it's a situation where they are safe and they're just, they just needed to step away for a minute. John tells us in cases like this, investigators typically begin at the end. They start with the last place a person was seen and backtrack. Former federal prosecutor Stephen Crawford agrees. Law enforcement gets to a position where they know who did it, but then they got to figure out how to prove it. And that's where they are. This longtime Tampa attorney says at this point, since Gabby's fiance is simply a person of interest and has hired an attorney, he cannot be compelled to talk. This is a case that if it turns out, unfortunately, the way it's looking, uh, it'll be prosecuted locally wherever they find what they find. And amid the uncertainty in this case, investigators all agree on one thing, finding Gabby safe and sound somewhere in the U.S. I'm Melanie Michael, 8 on your side.